taking a look today at uh, dual pressure relief on uh, air-cooled Volkswagen as part of my uh, oil change I wanted to make sure these plungers weren't stuck in the engine case and both of them came out uh, with the use of a magnet so they weren't stuck so while I was in the neighborhood I thought I would make a comparison with some aftermarket springs I don't remember the exact circumstance but I took these same parts out of a different engine and it had both springs replaced with heavier springs so on the left is the stock pressure relief spring or pressure control valve someone might call it and here's the aftermarket one. So this aftermarket one on the right, although it's about the same length, it's got the heavier wire. So this would raise up the oil pressure throughout the engine. We'll look at the schematic in a moment. Then this <clears throat> other pressure relief valve, and again they call this dual pressure relief. The aftermarket spring is much longer, feels a little stiffer too so that would increase the pressure against that plunger this funny shaped plunger goes at the front of the engine the crankshaft pulley end this more plain plunger goes at what I'll call the back of the engine the, the flywheel end so looking at this diagram from the idiot book this spring the smaller spring is here it's at the end of the crankshaft or at the end of the the crankshaft bearings and controlling the overall oil pressure so as perhaps the bearings wear out and more oil is leaking out here this won't open as often it'll try to maintain the oil pressure high now if you put in the aftermarket spring here and drive up the oil pressure that's going to make it tough for this one to close and note from the diagram all this does people call this pressure relief but all it does is either the oil goes through the oil cooler or it short circuits the oil cooler but this one never blows pressure back into the sump this one does see it's open to the sump if this opens it's blowing the oil pressure just leaking back into the sump. This one, the one that's near the crankshaft pulley, all it does is decide whether the oil is going through the stock cooler or if it's going around the oil cooler. So you put in this spring here alone, this heavier spring, in my mind it's going to make this harder to close. You're going to have less oil going through the oil cooler, the opposite of what you want. Maybe that's why they sell this as a set. If you increase the oil pressure in the crankshaft bearings with this, you've got to offset that with this heavier spring here to make sure that your oil is still going through the stock cooler. Problem I see there is more oil pressure in the stock cooler, more chance of making it leak. So while well, I have some temptation to do the hot rod thing and jack up the oil pressure with these heavy springs I think I'm just going to put my stock plungers and stock springs back in uh, here's the uh, plug that holds in the, the flywheel end and then here at the crankshaft end I've got the special plug that's also a oil temperature sender so it's going back together stock another thing I wonder I mean you can buy these anywhere these high pressure springs I'm wondering if anyone still makes a replacement for the stock spring. I've never seen that in any catalog, replacement for the stock springs. So uh, if there's any question, uh, leave a comment. Some of you might recognize this towel from my heat and quench video. But again, if you have any questions about uh, any video, just uh, leave a comment and uh, be sure to watch them all. Thanks.